friends while well, my name is Vivek and uh, today I would like to show you how to clean up uh, your C drive when it's got full so most of the times uh, uh, you have set about 85% uh, of threshold uh, when it's occupied more than 85 uh, it will be very uh, hard uh, for Windows operating system to to boot up and uh, do some other functionality so yeah uh, the best uh, option is a uh, best uh, way to put uh, to free up space free up of the space C drive uh, below than 85 percent so this way uh, you can protect your operating system and other important files and uh, Windows operating system files uh, 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 to loss of the data and other things so this is the recommend option uh, recommend and uh, uh, do not cross uh, over 85% of the threshold on the C drive and uh, uh, for that I have uh, created this uh, video for you so what exactly you required here let's say I open my um, computer and I have about uh, um, more than half 50% of free space and let's say you reach up to 90% um, of occupied space on the C drive and left only 10% on the 10% it will be very bad uh, for the operating system and sometimes uh, it goes uh, it grows um, gradually and uh, it cross up to 100% and reach up to 90% that time your operating system did not understand and uh, most of the times uh, operating system create page file automatically to give you better performance that time uh, your system get crash and you cannot able to boot your computer so the best way keep your um, C drive free up um, below than 85 percent should not reach up to 85 percent so here what exactly I will be putting I will be uh, putting the options uh, to begin with you need to go to the uh, run option and just type CMD sorry temp T E M P temp hit enter and you will find many of the um, folders files and folders will be under temp folder you have to just all select and uh, uh, delete uh, for completely completely deleting um, these files you need to uh, press shift and delete with this option you can delete permanently so here I am removing all the files and somehow you will be getting uh, some uh, error that uh, skip or continue if you press continue it will delete all the files if it doesn't that means something is running behind on your um, computer some applications are running that is why it is not uh, allowing you to uninstall or delete that particular file so I have just uh, press uh, shift and delete button to remove completely from this and here there are two files which is not this is not deleted that means it is showing me try again and skip option that means something is running behind and services are running that is why it is not deleting so I will skip I will click on do not do this for all the current items I will hit up click on the skip button and will leave this two files it will not delete and it doesn't have that much data so it doesn't bother me whether it will stay or not so these two files are staying and the other is other option is let me cross it red cross and close that window and I'm going to put here again um, let me remove this once again and uh, temp percentage and temp and then percentage and this will delete all your internet uh, temporary files or Internet Explorer temporary files whatever you have browsed as of now your web browser it will create some of the files into your temporary folder so I would like to also delete this 
I have just pressed shift and delete to permanently delete all the files I have 53 items so it is asking that are you sure you want to permanently delete these 53 items I will click on yes and it will delete everything and will stay up with the five file files and folders I will check this do this all do this for all current items I will click on skip once again and will keep their files into the folder again the important thing is um, you need to check um, and uh, trace it out nicely because we will be going in under this uh, windows folder and if you delete any of the files or any of the folder from here it will bother you to boot up your operating system and somehow it will give you it will misbehave your operating system it doesn't work properly so when you delete any of the files from your from under uh, windows or windows folder you have to take care first what I'm going to here what I'm going to do here I'm just um, going to uh, s search software distribution folder so I will be pressing software distribution folder this is the software distribution folder I will click on it and there's a folder uh, option uh, this is a for this is a download folder I need to go here uh, let's say when you um, when your administrator push patches on the computer um, so it will give you the option to install all the updates so the moment when you install all the update all the files and all the fi update files will stay here and your opening system get installed so these files are just staying here it just uh, it just a downloaded when the mo the moment when WSO server hit the update into this computer so all the files and folders are listed here it just uh, updates so which is already been uh, downloaded or installed already so it's just sitting here and uh, occupying all the space what I will do I will shift delete this option also so most of the files and folders will be deleting from here again the uh, again one thing I would like to show you here before you delete anything I would like to suggest you you should go to option called um, services.msc this is the way you can go to the services and the important thing is you need to have to check um, my computer is not uh, doing functionally uh, functionality the way it should supposed to and uh, here it is and uh, here is the windows update and yeah I wanted to see whether it is still running or not it is already stopped so good way so this is the option I need to go straight and click on continue to delete all the files and folders I believe that I am not administrator for this operating system for this account so I don't have any permission to delete some of the folders uh, yeah it is deleting somehow it's a good luck for me to that I have op the that I have a permission on this uh, user account that is why I managed to delete the folders and the size of the items or files and folders it has about 2.11 gigab GB so it is occupying about 2 GB of space on my C drive so when you delete uh, these files uh, it will delete most of the files and which is which is staying which is sitting unnecessary and occupying space of the C drive so these are the major files and I will show you some other option where you can delete other things there's an application which comes um, 
name of uh, tree size you can also install uh, it's a f you can install a free version if you wanted to test uh, if you like the software uh, tree size and if you have multiple computers in your organization you can purchase the license and then you can continue with that because uh, for the administrator in my past 10 years of experience I only found this that application is much better to see how and which files and folders are occupying much space it will show you in gigabytes and megabyte and some other um, kilobytes also so I don't have application so I don't show you as of now so I would like to go to the other option and uh, let's go view and option and uh, I will show you here view and under that show hidden files and folders and drive I would like to uncheck all these checked option I will apply hit ok and then come to the this PC and C drive you will see a uh, recycle bin dollar recycle dot bin and here's are some folders I also wanted to delete this I'm sorry shift and delete hit enter once again yes and yes it is not allowing me to delete I'll try once again yes it's removed already and what I will um, check here there is a logs files which comes I I'm not I'm not going to delete this one uh, yeah there's a brief log files under that you need to go and con click on continue when it's appear uh, at the moment I don't have any f f files and folder and it's showing me uh, this folder is, uh, is empty empty and uh, let's go to the user option all the administrator users and other users are listed here and you can see um, you can go to the every users account and every, every user folder let's say it's my user account and I will have I have app data and other also I can see what I have put it into my you know, desktop and other documents folder and download folder if you find this is not related to the to the um, computer or uh, files and folder which is sitting unnecessary like uh, it's a song or video or any movie files you can delete so through that you can check the, all the options and delete accordingly and uh, let's check some other option uh, yeah uh, all these things are have, have, we have we have already checked there's no files there's no uh, folders uh, where we can see as of now that means all done and this is how we can um, free up some space on the C drive and yeah uh, thank you for watching my video and you can click on bell button for subscribing and uh, thank you very much